Game totals: 353 doubloons, 40 jellyfish, 210 sand dollars. Hey guys, Segi Pictures here. Welcome back to more SpongeBob SquarePants: Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. In the last episode, Mr. Krabs got kidnapped, and in this episode, we'll be doing something. I don't know. Chum World bus stop. If you didn't know about Chum World, that would be question mark, question mark, question mark, bus stop. Jellyfish Fields. Oh, Gula Goon's right here. And look, Squidward. Hi, Squidward. Hey, Squidward. What's with all the stuff on your lawn? A squid has to pay his rent somehow, so I'm having a little yard sale to make a few extra sand dollars. Now leave me alone so I can read my book. What you reading? It's called How to Defeat Evil Spirits, okay? Now please, let me read. How to Defeat Evil Spirits? That's just what I need! Can I please borrow your book, Squidward? <sighs> you can borrow my book after I'm done with it, okay? So look through my yard sale or whatever, but stop asking about my book. Alright, so we need to quote-unquote borrow Squidward's book. So, as you can see, he falls asleep. Or not. Smack you in the face. Hey, Squidward, this big acorn sure is making a weird buzzing noise. Acorn? You mean that hive I got from my cousin on the coast? No, I mean this big buzzing acorn in the glass case. I bet Sandy would really like this. Oh yeah, I bet your little squirrel friend would really like that acorn. Why don't you buy it for her? Name your price, yard merchant. I'll sell it to you for 200 sand dollars. <laughs> Start saving your tip money. <laughs> Bring 200 sand dollars to Squidward, yari. And this is what he was talking about. In case you guys couldn't see. I really need that book to save Gary. I just want to borrow it for a little while. But how will I ever get it away from Squidward? You must sneak up on him while he's napping so he doesn't wake up. Hi. Right. I'm ready to buy this acorn now, Squidward. Well, well. Maybe I won't have to sit out here all week after all. The acorn is yours. I'm sure Sandy will love it. Yarrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
So, basics of karate matches. This, you don't need to worry about. You don't need to worry about jumping. To do a, um, do a karate combo, press B, B, and B. So, that's it. Okay, now listen up, because I'm going to remind you how this all works. We've got a short amount of time to bust up all this junk in your yard. The person who breaks the most stuff when the time runs out is the winner. Just tell me which moves are legal, if you have the guts. I'll teach you a few moves. You can press the action button to karate chop, and press the action button a couple of times to chain attacks together, press the action button in the air to do a kick. Got all that? Ready, set, go! Alright. So pretty much, you can attack Sandy as well. But, you just want to attack all the stuff that's in the yard. But, if you want to slow her down, you can get, actually go and fight her. See how I'm slowing her down with fighting her as well as, me, as breaking the stuff? You need to be in point blank range in order to beat stuff up. So it's best to just use the combos that. Just the combo moves. So that's it. There we go. Your karate skill is mighty. Karate skill is mighty, I should say. Karate. I gotta admit, SpongeBob, that was some tussle. You did okay for a sea critter. Oh, you weren't so bad. For a land critter. Ooh, that plum took all the fire out of me. I'm going home for a nap. Why don't you drop on by my tree dome and pay a visit, okay? That was sure swell of Sandy to cheer me up. I wish I could do something special for her. I know, I'll give her a present. But what would Sandy like? Mm -mm. All right, so we actually get changed out of our uniform for jellyfishing. So I kind of need to get that back because we need it for the next area. Because, of course, we need this fishing gear for most of the game. So, let's go and get the acorn and bring that over to Sandy's. This is when we need to go and get the acorn. Tree Dome is this way. Yay! visiting Sandy in her tree dome. Where else in Bikini Bottom can you worry about dying from all this air? That's strange. I don't feel as dry as I usually do, and I don't need my helmet at all. Oh, the ground in here is soaking wet. SpongeBob, get your squishy little body over here. Help! And so I'll just take this over here. Hi, Sandy. What happened in here, Sandy? I got all fired up after our karate match and wanted to practice some more, but I guess I got carried away because I accidentally poked some holes in the dome. This place is filling up faster than 11 gallons in a 10-gallon hat. What can I do to help? See if you can find something to plug the holes in the dome. You've got to plug all the holes to stop the water from coming in. Okay. Now I'm going to talk to her again. Hopefully. Hi. There's no time to dilly-dally. We've got to plug all the holes in the dome before this whole place is flooded. Oh, I need to do that first. Okay. I'll just put that over here. I'll just put this over here next to this thing. So, what we need to do is actually get these acorns over here and plug them up with the ho plug the holes up with that. And you can run into these flowers and they'll actually have flowers going out of them. Okay, come on. 
Come on. Oh, that was a direct hit. Come on. There we go. I just didn't have to see it. <clears throat> Alright. Give a present to Sandy in order to get into the tree dome. Alright, so yeah, still collect the golden doubloons, because you need those. But what you really need to do right now is plug up the holes in the tree dome. So do that first, and then you can go and explore the entire area. Oh, come on, I was right smack in front of it. There we go. Alright. And yes, there is a letter in there, but I'm not going to get that quite yet. I'm going to plug all these holes, and then I'm going to worry about anything else. Alright, six holes left. Where's the other egg it's supposed to be around here? <laughs> oh, there it is. Still five holes left. Da, 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 da. Okay, this out of order, but I'm just gonna do that. Get the note that's right there. I mean, letter that's right there. And since it's on the way. Is there one over there? No. Okay, so I'm perfectly fine with going into like that. Come on! I hate doing this plugging up the tree dome. Hate plugging up the tree dome so much. I'd be surprised if that actually hit. I would have been surprised if that hit. Come on! There we go, two holes left. There's the two holes. There's an acorn over here. I can use to do that. It's very touchy on this thing. Jeez. There we go. One hole left. I'm just gonna collect the doubloons that are around here, even though we're probably going to be in this area for a bit. And then plug up the last hole. Top with Sandy. Yarr! There we go. Mission accomplished! All the holes are plugged! Thanks, SpongeBob. You're a real lifesaver. This place will probably stay soaked for days. As for me, I'm going upstairs to dry off. And then she comes back out anyway. So pretty much while she has that rake in her hand, you can't- Darnation. 
All those holes in my dome made this place wetter inside than out. I could sure use something special to spruce up this old tree. So, um, pretty much, you can't talk to her with the acorn while she has the rake in her hand. So now... Hey there, SpongeBob. Back so soon? What you got there? Well, I... I just thought you might like this. It's a really weird acorn that makes funny noises when you shake it. Maybe you can use it as a decoration for your tree. Why, isn't this the fanciest doohickey you ever done saw? This will look great on top of my tree. Hold on a sec while I put it up there. And... SpongeBob! This is no acorn! Get up here right away! Well, I would, Sandy. But there's other stuff I need to do down here. So, let's go and do that stuff. And then go over to where you are. And then go and do what you want us to do. Okay. So, yep. Yeah. Yeah, I got a letter. And I believe with this portion, you want to go pretty fast because these leaves fall. Yes, they do. I missed it to bloom. Running on the wheel. Stay on the wheel until time is up. Alright, I actually thought this was pretty difficult as a kid. But, if you just keep jumping, pretty much you're staying on the wheel. Oh gosh, I forgot it got that fast. Four, two, three, okay. This is just me jumping on the wheel. Ah, uh, well. What happens if I ground pound? Oh gosh, that happened! Ah! Okay, so no, don't ground pound while this thing is turning. Three, two, one, zero. Yay! Yay, I ran on the wheel for a minute. All right, so we pretty much got done here in the bottom half of the tree dome. What does Sandy want with us at the top of the tree dome? Well, you kind of can guess it because SpongeBob is a complete idiot. Oh, I didn't know you could break that. Sweet. Ugh. Oh, SpongeBob, you are in trouble, my friend. So, pretty much... If you hadn't guessed by now, he gave her a beehive that's full of bees and hornets. So, this has been Psychic Pictures, and I'll see you guys next time for more SpongeBob SquarePants Revenge of the Flying Dutchman.